Okay, so hello friends. Today we're going to clean this nice lens. It's a Nikkor A80 200 millimeters f4.5. It's an AES lens, and then as you can see here, uh, there is a lot of dust on the inside of the lens. And then if I move here in the second element, and you can see, let me just try to, to focus there. There is also a lot of dust inside so this allowed me to get this lens and like very 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 cheap and because yeah people usually don't like a lot uh, denses, lenses which are not really 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 clean on the inside okay so and uh, we're going to open this lens to clean it um, so before that uh, don't forget to subscribe uh, if you haven't subscribed yet and give me a thumbs up if you like what you see okay anyway uh, I'm going to show you before uh, actually disassembling the lens uh, what tools uh, we're going to use so I have a really 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 small a flat screwdriver I have uh, well this is just a pin just to move uh, the lens when we're going to uh, this screw and uh, the rubber cups here uh, I have the whole set and then and the lens spanner and you have here and then uh, a small suction cup uh, just to handle the lenses and uh, okay and uh, most of the items I just showed to you uh, you can find a link in the description if you want to get them um, okay so how do we open this lens so first thing let me put it on the side uh, and then we do the focusing let me put the light a bit okay so uh, you have uh, one small screw here flat screw so the size of this screwdriver is 0 9 I think uh, yeah it is and then you simply need to screw it a little bit not everything it is not necessary and then uh, thin is really really small so you don't want to get that thing uh, lying around okay so with that screw I can rotate this element here ah. okay I think I haven't removed this screw and the screw enough okay this should do and then I think I'm going to need the rubber cup and then here you just need to get this element here well, I opened it yesterday the lens just to, to know how, how it was made and then I think I mounted too well okay no, it came. Now, okay, and then I'm able to remove this element, and then uh, you actually need to tighten it uh, enough because there is this small hole here, which uh, must match the screw, so the screw gets in uh, without deforming the thread okay so this is the first element we remove uh, now we put the element in this direction and then we're going to remove the front element here which I got already loose and then and this I think I got it loose using the, the rubber cup so you need to get a good grab and then if that doesn't work and you should use the lens spanner here ok so mine is loose already so uh, I just need to screw it I can put the rubber cup here so I can do manipulation quite easily and then once I got it I can get it away so this is the first element as you can see it was very easy to remove uh, now let me put it 
here on the side and because we're going to remove um, fans until we reach uh, just uh, the aperture blades so here uh, there is a lot of dust I can already blow it away ah that feel, feel good. feels good once you get all that nasty dust out of the lens uh, okay so here um, you need to remove this element here there is uh, these two holes here uh, which will remove this ring here and uh, but then nothing happens this is just to block one of the lens of the optical assembly if you want to remove it you actually need to take this part also use these slots here here and here and then uh, to do so you have to come uh, to the very edge so the for the closest position otherwise and you won't be able to reach it with your spanner well at least with mine I don't know you have a different one and okay so I want to take the position of the spanner this is a bit technical because you need to get the two elements at the same time okay so let me get the spanner into the right position okay now I fix the spanner and then you need to rotate a bit you need to hold it on the bottom and then it gets free here I won't be able to use the trick of the um, of the suction cup because it is too big so I know I don't get a good grab well, so what I do is I use this pin here and then I am able to rotate and then I am able to remove this element here so I put it aside too and then uh, we have this I think this is the last element before we reach the aperture blades and then uh, this is uh, where most of the dust is uh, located in this lens there's some hair too and then this lens is already a bit clean I'm going to show you how to remove it but I don't think uh, <coughs> at the end you will need to so then again the lens spotter I'm just getting it in position okay that fix I need to get Okay, so you get it into the holes, you fix, you need to fix, and then you apply some force until it gets loose, uh, then you can use something else. Okay, so um, lens spanner are, are always useful, but uh, it's not my favorite tool because it's very, very dangerous. And so when you use one, uh, pay special attention to having a, a steady hand. Otherwise, uh, if it slips, and then it can damage your lens badly. And then this is obviously something we don't want. Uh, okay, um, I think I will need something to remove this lens here. Uh, okay, I will do it like, like a crazy person. Uh, you shouldn't do that. Uh, but then I will get some tweezers just after. Okay, so this is the other element we remove. 
it is rather clean I just yeah there is some dust here and then I touch it with my hand uh, and so we're going to clean it as people usually say to me uh, why don't you use gloves uh, gloves when doing this type of work and then uh, my answer is uh, I use them only when extremely necessary because um, yeah gloves are nice but uh, each time I do an intervention I have to throw them away so I don't for me it's not very an ecological thing so um, so we reach this element here so uh, we're not going to bother with the rest because the rest of the lens is fixed parts and then there you have less risk of uh, getting it uh, and to get dust inside so it's mostly with the moving parts so um, here we are um, so we disassemble as much as possible and uh, well we did the minimum disassembly in order to be able to clean the lens so now I'm going to get uh, everything for the clean ready so um, and then uh, I see you in a few seconds so hello back um, I am ready for the cleaning so uh, as usual I have the optical cleaning uh, paper but I don't think it will be needing that a lot because I saw uh, just by inspection that there is mostly dust on the lens uh, and not much else and then uh, just by blowing uh, thoroughly and uh, it seems to get away and uh, so uh, optical clean fluid uh, so this is something you can buy and there's also uh, isopropyl alcohol if you don't find uh, this in your place and then in case you want to remove fungus or uh, that kind of stuff uh, isopropyl alcohol does the job uh, and then if you want to go further uh, just uh, up, apply a few drops of your iso and what, the, what is the name of this uh, well oxygenated water <laughs> let's call it um, and then uh, yeah this will make sure uh, you have uh, you will remove fungus anyway uh, okay so I have this element here so this is the first one so uh, well, the first one uh, backwards uh, so now we're going to uh, reassemble the lens as we go uh, so uh, here I got uh, the aperture as you saw before uh, let me change the focal distance uh, well not the focal distance, the focusing uh, okay so here uh, this is the kind of place where you get a lot of dust uh, and then uh, a good blow joint does the job uh, then uh, we close again just in case uh, since I have this thing upside and yeah pointing upside so I don't want to get a uh, new new dust inside so let me cover it uh, for a while while we do the clean here so uh, just going to blow it I uh, have one speck of dust uh, which is doesn't want to go away so I use some paper and that's a hard one okay so okay so it went away so I use a bit of optical cleaning paper just to remove it then it is away so now we're going to put this lens immediately uh, back into reactive uh, so uh, yeah this is the way I, the way I prefer uh, doing things so uh, and then uh, to hold it I had one tweezer here this is what I told you before when I said I needed to, to go and 
and get something. So I have this tweezer here just to hold the lens. So and then I have the ring which is the spacer. This is something we want obviously to put to put into the lens and uh, otherwise I think calibration uh, will be completely wrong. Yeah. And then uh, yeah, the image quality is not going to be good. So uh, so we put this, then uh, we we go in and just check one last time that the back of the lens is clean. It is so, and then with the tweezers, I just need to make sure uh, lens is in position, and then I will show you. So it gets in and then I use just a pin to rotate it. So I am doing now. So I get the position. Then yeah, it looks a lot better now. Then uh, I just need to finish and uh, tighten it so at this point if you want uh, you can add even some glue just to finish uh, 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 tightening the lens and so it holds but well this is something I don't do because I like to come back and time to time to clean and fix my lenses and then if I add some glue this is going to be a pain. So, we did a first element and it looks very, 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 very clean now. So, let me put the lens here so upside down so we don't get dust in. So, this is the second element here. So, the back, there was some dust here, which, uh, well, I don't see it anyway. Uh, so and then uh, what we can do is uh, we're going to put it also to uh, immediately. And then uh, okay. So this this part is a bit annoying. So because we need to manipulate the lens to get it in position, and then. It's never easy, just okay. So here we are. Okay, now I got in position and then I just need to start screwing. Until I reach the position, just let me make some viewing distance. So uh, now uh, I put the lens back in position. So on, ah, okay. So at the end, I just need to tighten it a bit. But here uh, we can come and clean. Here I have some traces of. Uh, dust more visible and uh, so we're going to clean that too uh, so let me get a nice piece of uh, cleaning paper as you can see here uh, I take one big paper and clean it not not clean it I uh, cut it in very small pieces because yeah these papers are yeah good quality ones are not easy to find uh, and then it is a waste. Uh, so uh, as I always say, uh, be don't skimp on the optical cleaning paper. So this is very 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 important. Uh, 
to get the best looking you can get because yeah this is the thing you're going to put in your lens so you don't want some low quality thing and that might potentially scratch your lens so I take the small part as I'm doing here and then uh, with uh, so I can I, you can do it with a cotton swag or, or um, yeah something soft that you can push the paper with even your finger you can reach but then I use this um, how do you call it the lens pen so, okay, let me remove the paper and then I use this because well and then I use the you use it essentially because of this cup here on the front of the lens so uh, okay my lens looks super nice now and then I put it again upside down and we check the last element here some dust too But then overall the lens is rather clean, so I, I don't think I'm going to bother at well, least I get okay. No, nah, okay, so there is some points there, but then as I pass the the optical cleaning paper and um, yeah, there's some traces which remain, so uh, we're going to clean this. So I put some optical cleaning fluid, uh, a new sheet of paper, and then I rub it as before. sure all the surface is done so I do circular motions from the interior to the exterior make sure everybody's covered and then my lens looks very clean now which is good well as I said always uh, it won't be ever ever like uh, it came out of the factory because obviously I don't have a clean room uh, and then uh, the optical clean acids uh, that they use uh, to get everything super clean in a factory but this is far better than having just a nasty lens that well, obviously dust and uh, doesn't affect uh, image quality uh, well, at least uh, not if you have just a few specs but then if there is a lot uh, I it is is a bit annoying at least for me some people can live with it but uh, me I yeah, I prefer remove it okay so uh, then uh, we do just one last cleaning on the front element It, uh, then I put some. So we have, as we did before with the other two lenses, we pass the lens pen or your finger or whatever with the paper and then. At the end, you get a clean lens. So, uh, the lens looks already super, well, at least far cleaner than in the beginning of the video. So, for me, this is nice. 
so uh, we're going to finish the lens so and then this is the important part so uh, yesterday when I was starting the lens I did a small mark here with a marker uh, and then this is as I told you just let me recall you if you don't remember that and uh, here on the mark there's one small hole let me try to get it you as so you see there there's this small hole you can even see the mark I made and then uh, just next to it you can even find uh, here uh, yeah what happens when you don't respect the mark you put the screw and then you will deform a bit uh, the threading so this is something you want to avoid so. let me get some space so and then uh, just to finish the lens I obviously screw this and then when I am close to remark so this is one unit uh, to tight so you make sure and you are in the right position uh, and then uh, yeah that was my daughter and then okay now you get and just in front of the mark and then with that you just need to uh, finish with retightening your screw so make sure it doesn't pass over and then you're done your lens uh, which is an excellent lens uh, is clean you can keep taking a uh, nice picture for a long long time and then uh, yeah if you like me you didn't pay much for it so that's all for today thanks for watching and see you next time huh?